It's Umsum time! Should everyone wear masks? I have no idea. WHO recommends masks to be worn by the following people. People who are either sick or showing symptoms. <coughs> hmm. Also by those who are caring for people suspected of having coronavirus. As per WHO, medical masks should be reserved for healthcare workers. Hmm. WHO is not recommending masks for public for the following reasons. Firstly, people might use masks which are contaminated by other people's coughs <coughs> and sneezes. Ooh. Hmm. Secondly, wearing masks might offer people a false sense of security. Ooh. Thirdly, as per WHO, social distancing and frequent hand washing are more effective. Hmm. Now, as per the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, if non-surgical face masks are worn by public, then they might help <coughs> control infection by those who are affected with coronavirus, but do not show any symptoms yet. This will prove to be useful in busy and closed spaces like shopping malls, grocery stores, etc. Hmm. What if face masks were made compulsory? Then I will change my profession. I will become a face mask designer. Wow, Umsum. With everybody wearing face masks, contagious diseases may soon fade away worldwide. Mm. But on the flip side, firstly, face mask factories will start popping up all around the world. Secondly, face masks will slowly become a fashion accessory. People will start wearing designer face masks. Thirdly, with face masks compulsory, Lipstick and lip balm industry will probably face gloomy times. Mm. Fourthly, dating with face masks will Ooh. probably be awkward to start with, but people will slowly but surely get used to it. Lastly, with face masks compulsory and beards and mustaches no longer mm. visible, men will probably stop caring whether to shave or not. On a serious note, People will have to clean their face masks regularly, else the entire process <laughs> will be futile. Mm. What if social huh? distancing is made permanent worldwide? Permanent? No ways! I'm ready to join the protests! Wow, um, some Social oh. distancing is deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid mm. spreading illness. If social distancing was made permanent worldwide, firstly, social distancing and dating do not go well together. The way people date will change forever. Mm. Secondly, social distancing huh? will change the way games like football, rugby, cricket, etc. are played. Players will need to attend coaching classes all over again. Mm. Thirdly, more and more cameras will be installed in public places to enforce social distancing. Privacy will take a back seat. <laughs> Lastly, rock concerts, marathons, festivals will have to issue new guidelines to remain within the gambit of law. But on the flip side, with social distancing enforced, contagious diseases may soon fade away worldwide. Mm. What is social distancing and self quarantine? Mm. Social distancing is deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid spreading illness. It is done to avoid or decrease contact between those who are infected with COVID-19 and those who are not. So as to stop or slow down the rate and extent of disease transmission in a community. Examples of social distancing include Closing of offices and working from home. Closing of all educational institutions and studying online. Canceling or postponing all non-essential social and cultural gatherings. Self-quarantine is to refrain from any contact with other individuals for a period of time during the outbreak of a contagious disease, usually by remaining in one's home, and limiting contact with family members. Mm. Self-quarantine also involves Washing hands frequently Staying at least six feet away from other people Not sharing things like towels and utensils huh? What is a pandemic? I have no idea But pandas are my favorite Oh, um, <laughs> some A pandemic is the worldwide spread of a new disease 
On the 11th of March 2020, WHO characterized COVID-19 as a pandemic. The Spanish flu of 1918 is considered to be one of the deadliest pandemics in human history. It infected more than 500 million people. Mm. Pandemics are generally classified as epidemics first. An epidemic is a disease that affects many people within a community, population, or region. Mm. An epidemic becomes a pandemic when it spreads to multiple countries or continents. The Zika virus outbreak as well as the Ebola outbreak are both classified as epidemics. Mm. An influenza pandemic occurs when a new influenza virus, against which people do not have immunity, emerges and spreads around the world. Mm. In the past, pandemics have been caused by viruses which have typically originated from animal influenza viruses. Mm. 